Good morning, happy Sunday. We're here for Children's Chapel, and today we're gonna sing mm -hmm. If I Were a Butterfly. Okay. Here we go, all right. God be with me when I think. God be with me when I speak. God be with me when I speak. God be with me in my heart. God be with me in my heart. Oh dear God, let us never part. Oh dear God, let us never part. Here's our creed. This is what we believe. We believe in God above. We believe in God above. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in the Holy Spirit too. We believe in the Holy Spirit too. Who comes to live in me and you. Who comes to live in me and you. Okay, here's our prayers. We pray for our teachers to help us so we can learn and be more like you. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for our families that your love will fill our hearts. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the boys and girls and their families who are hungry and give thanks for those who help them. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are sick or sad. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who have died. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray you will be with us in all we do. Jesus, hear our prayer. <laughs> do you have special prayers today? My special prayer is um, mm -hmm. I'm thankful for Mr. Riley always being here to help support me and the children's ministry programs. Thanks. And um, you can take a moment to say your special prayer, whatever's in your heart. And we ask all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Here's our confession. We'll tell God we're sorry for the things we've done wrong, and we'll try harder to love and follow God. Dear God. Dear God. I am sorry I have done things. I am sorry I have done things. I should not have done. 
I should not have done. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. For hurting friends and those I love. For hurting friends and those I love. Please help me to do better. Please help me to do better. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your love. Amen. Amen. Okay, it's time to sing our offering song and offer up to God all of ourselves, our love, our fears, our worries, our thanksgivings, our prayers, our concerns. birthday party of the church. In fact, let's look at the calendar together. Excuse my, you can't really see me and the calendar, but here's our, we're here on our last Sunday of Easter. We've had all these Sundays of Easter, and today's the last Sunday of Easter, and next week is the, oh, you know I can't touch it because it's, whoop, it's hot, it's hot. Pentecost is next week, so we're going to celebrate next week with a live Zoom coffee hour, and I hope you and your families will join. And I'll be telling you the story of Pentecost for the Godly Play story. Um, the week after that is called Trinity Sunday. And the Trinity is how we have a triune God. Tri means three. And we have three persons in one God. And we celebrate that um, usually the week after Pentecost. But that will be our first Sunday of some summer curriculum. And we'll be doing something called Camp Compassion from Illustrated Ministry, and I'm super excited about it. Um, so we're going to start that on June 7th. So I thought, let's go ahead and do our Trinity lesson today. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you that what I have here. I have an apple. Do you have an apple? If you guys have apples at your house, this might be a good time to call to your families and say, hey, can you bring me an apple, please, to eat while I'm listening to this Trinity lesson with Miss Catherine? Now, I don't want you to cut your apple. You need parental assistance for that. But I'm going to cut this apple, and I'm going to show you the inside. And this apple is going to help us know more about the Trinity. So I'm going to take a bite of my delicious apple. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm going to get my book, and we're going to read A Picture of God, three in one. Oh, dear. I forgot to turn the mirror image off. Sorry. Look at this apple. This is written by Joanne Markshausen, with pictures by Ben Markshausen and Ed Kohler. And it's published by Concordia Publishing House. Here is one apple. There is only one God. The apple has three parts, the peel, the flesh, and the core. The one true God has three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All three parts of the apple are apple. The peel is apple. It is not orange. It is not banana. The flesh is apple. It is not pear. It is not plum. And the core is apple. It's not grapefruit. It's not watermelon. But these three, peel, flesh, core, are not three apples but just one apple, right? All three persons of the one true God are God. God the Father is God. God the Son is God. God the Holy Spirit is God. But these three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, are not three gods, 
but just one God. That's a pretty big mystery. The three parts of the apple have three different purposes. The peel protects. It keeps the apple healthy. The flesh of the apple is the part that's good to eat. Lots of good things are made from the flesh of the apple. I wonder what things you like to eat made of apple, if you like apples. Apple pie, apple crisp, apple sauce, apple dumplings, apple cider, apple jelly, apple fritters, all kinds of things. Baked, we like to have baked apples. The core of the apple contains seeds from which apple trees grow. And when just one apple seed is planted in the ground, the result is many, many apples. Like the apple, the three persons of the one true God have different purposes. God the Father is our protector. He made us, you, me, all people, all things. Even apples. He loves us and protects us and makes even bad things turn out for our good. He keeps things growing so that we have food, cows, carrots, apples. God loves us so much that he sent God the Son to be there for us, to teach us how to live and to sacrifice for us, to know what love is, to know what true love really is. His name was Jesus. He was a real man and he suffered and it hurt and he died. And we know that's really sad, but also happy in an Easter kind of way. Jesus was buried like an apple seed is buried in the ground, but he was really God. And as an apple seed sprouts from the ground and makes new apples possible, Jesus rose from the dead. And the result is beautiful, wonderful, happy lives for us. But before we can have this beautiful, wonderful happiness, there's something else that we have to have. And that is faith in Jesus. When you plant an apple seed in the ground, you believe an apple tree will grow from it. And that's faith in an apple seed. And when you believe Jesus died for you and lives again to give you a beautiful, wonderful, happy new life, that's faith in Jesus. And our hearts are kind of like a piece of ground. The ground can't plant itself with an apple seed. Someone has to put the seed in the ground. We can't put faith in our own hearts. We ask God, the Holy Spirit, to come and help us to have faith and to feel close to God. The Holy Spirit puts faith in our hearts and keeps it alive and growing as long as we want him to. When an apple seed is planted in the ground, the rain feeds it and it begins to grow. When the Holy Spirit puts faith into the heart, he feeds it with God's word and faith begins to grow. When the apple tree is grown up strong and healthy, it bears fruit, apples. And when faith is grown up strong and healthy, it bears fruit too. And that reminds me of our song, Read Your Bible, Pray Every Day, and you will grow, grow, grow. Um, we don't grow apples, but we grow the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. The fruit of the Spirit is gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Those are the fruits of the Spirit when we read our Bible and pray and gather in community like this. When you pick an apple from an apple tree, you know it's an apple. It looks like an apple. It has an apple peel. Its flesh is apple. If you plant a seed from its core, an apple tree will grow. Although it has three parts, you know that you don't have three apples, just one apple. If you have faith in the true God, you believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. There are three persons, but there's only one true God. And that's the mystery of the Trinity, which is a pretty big mystery. But this always helps me um, kind of get it into my mind a little bit more so I feel like I understand a little more. And there's the peel and the flesh and the core. 
and it's delicious. Like all things that God provides for us, it's so good. Well, I love you, and I hope you have a great Sunday. I'll see you on Wednesday night for a story, Friday morning for a story, and then next week for the Pentecost Godly Play Lesson and Chapel and Zoom Coffee Hour. Okay, love y'all.